I did my face makeup already. So I have my foundation, bronzer, and concealer. I did everything on my skin already. I just have to do eyeshadow. And I did prime my eyelids. And I used the Soft Ochre Pro Longwear Paint Pot from MAC. And then I also used the Estee Lauder Double Wear Powder to set my eyelids. I'm really excited to try this palette because I haven't tried a Urban Decay palette in a very long time. I do have the Naked 1 and the Naked 3 palette. And the Naked 3 palette is very like a purple theme as well. So I'm pretty curious to see if there's any similarities with those eyeshadows. So the package looks like this. Very nice purple tone package. And then when you open it up... And this is how it looks. The container, really pretty. I really like how purple it looks. It looks very nice. I really like it. And then when you open, and this is how the palette looks like. Really beautiful colors. I really like the colors. They're really pretty. I hope they do perform really good. And inside the palette, you do get a double-ended brush, which is the blending brush, and then a packing brush inside. So this palette is a new palette from Urban Decay. On the box it says our supercharged lineup of 12 intensely pigmented mattes, metallics, and holographic shimmers. It's a lucid dream come to life. Okay, so you get mattes, shimmers, metallics, and holographic shadows. So hopefully it does perform well and let's get started with this. And the first shade that I'm going to use is going to be this shade called Mind Slip, which is this almost like a nude peachy shade. And I'm going to use that on my crease first. So I'm going to take a little bit of that shade. And then the next shade, I'm going to take the shade called Hacked. It's more like a burgundy shade, so I'm going to take that and I'm just going to place that in the outer part of my lid right here using the same brush. I'm going to apply that there. So I'm going to swatch the VR. It's such a pretty shade, but the thing is, it doesn't get too much. This is this is with one swipe of eyeshadow that I went to, and let me swatch it. It's a really light shade. It, it looks very pigmented in the palette, but once you swatch it, it's super light. It is very reflective. It's a very pretty color. I'm going to put that shade on the lid here with my finger. Yeah, you can barely see. Let me try with the brush and see. This is how the VR shade looks on my lid. I really like the color. The color is very cute. I like how holographic it is. It does give you like different dimension. But the thing with this shadow, it's that it's not very pigmented. On the palette, it looks very pigmented. It looks like, oh my God, it's gonna be a gorgeous color. But then when you apply it on your lid and when you swatch it, it is super light, but it is reflective, but it's super light. And I also got a little bit of fallout with the shadow. It's really pretty. I wish it would have been a little bit more like, Hoom. but, that's how it's looking. And I applied it with my finger because I tried with a brush and it wasn't working with a brush. And then on top of VR, I'm going to apply a little bit of this shadow called Lucid, which is like a green shade. I'm going to use my finger to apply it because so far the VR didn't apply well with the brush. So I'm going to use my finger as well. And I'm going to apply that. All right, let me, let me swatch it first before applying it onto my lid. So this is here. Super light as well. Very light. 
It is super light. It's very reflective, but the shadow is very light. It swatches very light. It's not very pigmented. So this is how lucid looks on the eyes and I like this shade but it's super light and you do get a lot of fallout under my eye. I do have a lot of fallout. I should have done my eyeshadow first before doing my base but I thought you know what let me give it a try and see if there's any fallout and definitely there is a lot of fallout so if you're gonna be using this palette do your eyes first because the shimmers and the holographic shadows are very like you get a lot of fallout. I'm gonna take the shade Mind Slip and optimize, and I'm gonna apply that in my lower lash. I'm gonna use the same brush that the, it came with a palette, and then I'm just gonna blend it here. Under my I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna try to use the warning shade. I'm gonna try to apply that in the outer part of my eyelid here using my finger as well. I'm gonna do a swatch first. So I went in. This is how it's gonna look. Super light. Ugh. Let me put that in the crease here. Just here, on top of this. So I completed my makeup look and this is the look that I got inspired to do. Uh, but I have to say that this palette, it's not a good palette. I swatched the palette and the swatches are horrible. The pigment on this palette, it's not good. I'm gonna insert a clip here when I'm swatching the palette. It's like an awkward angle, but I'm gonna show you swatches of the palette. I'm gonna keep the palette right here. So we're gonna start with this shade, which is Trippin'. And this is the swatch for it. You can barely see, it's almost like my own skin tone here, but you can barely see it. Now I'm gonna take Mind Slip. You can barely see it too, barely see it. And I am putting a, lot, a little bit of a pressure. You can still see it here. It's very light. Now I'm going to use my other finger here. I'm going to use the shade Dazed. And I went back in. Apply it. I'm going to apply it right here. You can barely see it there. Barely, barely see it. So I'm going to clean my fingers. And then I'm gonna go into hack. And again, I swatch it and it looks like this. And hack is my favorite color of the whole palette. It's my favorite color. I really like how it looks on my skin tone. I really like it. The others are a little bit too light. I don't know if it's because my skin tone is just blending in with it. That's how it's looking. 
Hacked is my favorite color of the whole palette. It's very creamy, very different compared to Mind Slip and Trippin. Hacked is a very good color. So now we're gonna go with VR. And again, I clean my fingers. Swatch, it looks like this, the middle. Swatch it here. Really pretty shade, but it loses pigmentation. It, it's not there. Now I'm gonna go with Lucid. Clean fingers as well. I'm gonna go with this. Right there. You can barely see it there. Now I'm gonna go with the shade Optimize. Right there. Which is, now I'm gonna go with shade Warming. I'm gonna clean my fingers. I'm gonna go with Warning. Now I'm gonna go with Cyberpunk. Now I'm gonna go with Euphoric. Clean fingers as well. I'm cleaning my fingers every time I'm swatching a different color. And this is how it looks. I'm gonna apply it right here. Now I'm gonna go with Purple Dust. Looks like this go with digital almost digital and purple dust look kind of similar to each other so these are the swatches for the ultraviolet naked palette from urban decay and I and definitely this palette has no pigmentation at all it is a pretty palette the color scheme super cute super pretty but the pigmentation is not there. It does have a lot of fallout. Usually with Urban Decay palettes, they do have fallout, which is okay. If the, if the eyeshadow is working, I'm fine with fallout. But I feel like as time is passing by, the eyeshadows are actually melting off my eyelid. I know I'm not a makeup professional. I'm not a makeup artist. But I do apply eyeshadow like a regular person for an everyday look. And... I feel like these shadows are not performing well. They're very, they're really pretty. The, the color is really pretty, but I feel like they're not performing well at all. I didn't swatch the palette before doing my eyeshadow because I really wanted to test it out and see how it was going to work out. And then I started applying the eyeshadow on my eyelid and I started to see, you know, there was fallout, not a lot of pigmentation. So I started swatching the palette right now and... The swatches are really bad. I'm gonna, the colors don't have pigment at all. Like the package looks really pretty. I like how it has a huge mirror. I really like that. I really like the color scheme. It's really pretty, but honestly, I'm very disappointed. I was really excited for this palette and this palette, it's not good. I think there's other palettes out there in the market that are really pigmented. And I feel like Urban Decay does have decent palettes, but this one was just not there. The swatches are not there, and they're disappearing from my hand. It's it's not a good palette. So definitely, if you want to try this palette, I suggest you to skip it, not to try this one, uh, because it's it's not good. Personally, I don't feel like it's good. I feel like there's other palettes out there that are really good. And also to this palette, it's not cheap. It is $54 if I'm not mistaken. I'll leave the, the, the price in the description box just in case because I think it's going to be $54. I'm not quite sure, but I think. And yeah, it's super expensive and you do not get any pigment. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would deeply appreciate it if you would hit that red button below. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.